going on guys? It's Dirk here. Just wanted to give you a little update on what I'm doing. Haven't been up to much. Just been working a lot and uh, you know, not really been working on computers too much. But I had a few minutes the other day and I took apart the uh, my little home storage server here, whatever you want to call it. Kind of my just second computer for when people come over and you know, I got all my hard drives in there. You can see them right here. So I don't know, I was just unhappy with it, the uh, the performance, um, the cooling, just everything pretty much, especially this is one of my big things here, this power supply, Let's see it's uh, not the best, not only is it just crap, but it has no connectors at all, hardly, it's only got two SATA power connectors and no PCI Express and yeah, it's just bad. And then this thing here is just totally un underperforming and just not very happy with it. It's old and it's time to get rid of it, as well as all the uh, stock fans here. So, if anybody is interested in uh, these here and the motherboard CPU and memory, send me a personal message. I'll give you more information. So, I'm going to be upgrading that. I'm really not sure if I'm going to buy anything to replace it, honestly, because this thing really doesn't get used that often, but I think if I can get some that runs really efficiently and quiet, uh, you know, and this is a couple generations old, this is a uh, Core 2 Duo E4500, if I remember correctly, socket 775 with some DDR memory integrated video, so it's terrible, so I'm thinking possibly a really cheap uh, AMD APU. Possibly if I can get something cheap enough on the Intel side, maybe something with like a HD 3000 graphics. And, uh, you know, it should be ten times more powerful than this and do all the stuff that I need to do. Because mainly it just, this thing will not play, you know, HD videos, full screen, or anything like that. I mean, it just, it does, but it's just barely. And you can't really do much else beyond that. And the other main concern I have, too, is, uh, it's got a USB wireless car or a USB uh, wireless adapter, and it's just super slow. So I need to upgrade that, and I'm gonna go with the PCI Express by one. Found a few that are pretty good price, look like they're all right. I need one for my main computer as well. Get away from PCI. And uh, yeah, guys, so I'm just gonna do a few little upgrades here and there over the next uh, couple months. Whenever I can get rid of some stuff, get some money, get rid of all these ugly yellow cables do something with this uh, front panel cabling here and got the front panel off so yeah just cleaning things up guys but the main thing I'm looking for is a new power supply to replace this something that's really efficient at least uh, 80 plus bronze I looked at the Antec Earthwatts 380 watt looks decent there's also a Seasonic uh, 350 or 400 watt power supply. I mean, it should be plenty for this. Like I said, even if I put a little video card in there, should be plenty. But with the APU, I mean, this thing's never going to be gaming or anything like that. So it's mainly just processing power and just uh, you know stuff for all the storage. And you know, if I have people over, if or I'm working on the main rig and I want something to get online with, and I have it. And uh, yeah, guys. So I'll make more videos later. I have some stuff on the. Uh, main computer I'm going to be doing as well. I'll go over that, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, Like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I ever went off on the, the tangent of talking about it, but I was almost thinking about not building something new because really I only use this computer mainly you know, for storage. Like I said, every once in a while people come over and use it, but it's mainly just to hold all my hard drives so they're not in my main gaming case. And um, so yeah, I was thinking maybe just getting a, because uh, I really only have four drives I'll be using max. These two are just kind of temporary until I get one or two more of these one terabyte, possibly two terabyte uh, green drives. Because these are more for the speed, I guess, the black, and then the green would be better for lower temperatures and stuff like that. Which I'm going more for this one if I do build it more for energy efficiency. And I might possibly end up using this one 24-7. There's one more thing that I am deciding to do. I'm going to do this on this computer and my main computer. That's eliminate the internal CD drive because, I mean, I did just buy this like 
I don't know, a couple months ago. It was only like 20 bucks. I just, I hardly use them, you know, and they just take up room. It's extra cables you have to run, extra weight. I mean, these things aren't light. So I'm just going to get a single external, you know, USB or something like that. And if I ever do need one, that way I can plug it into any computer. I mean, I think it's a genius idea. So be looking forward to that. And as always, anything I do get, I'll probably make a video of it, you know, overview or a review or something like that. So. Any suggestions you guys have, let me know. I think that about wraps it up. Uh, if you guys are wondering what all I got that I'm trying to get rid of, uh, send me a personal message. I got quite a few things. And uh, you guys take it easy.